Okay, I have another project here that I'd like to share with you using the Studio 5000 Logic Designer software. Today's project, I'm going to be using the auto discovery feature in the software to detect the I.O. in my controller. I'm going to scroll down here a little bit and show you the materials for today's project. First, I'm using the Ellen Bradley Top Hack Logix controller, along with the Studio 5000 Logix Designer software, and a USB 2.0 AV printer cable for programming the controller. And as usual, I give you the link to the webpage where the items are located. And I'm going to continue scrolling down here to the project description. In the project description, I'm letting you know that I'm going to use the auto discovery feature to detect my I.O. configuration on my controller. I'm going to continue scrolling down here into the step-by-step -step procedure. Now, the first part of this procedure, I'm doing something kind of basic. I'm starting a new project so that I can take the new project and download it to the controller. Then I can use the auto detect feature. So I'm going to scroll down here to step two. In step two, I'm going online with the controller. In step three, I'm showing that the controller project and the project on the computer are different. And that's why I get the warning message there. I'm going to continue scrolling down here to step four. I am downloading the project to the controller. Here in step five, I am showing that the controller is in run mode and it is okay, but there are no IO present. In step six, I'm showing how to use the auto discovery feature. And you will come down in the control organizer down to the 1769 bus, right click and click on discover modules. And here you can see the modules that I have connected to the controller are pulled up in the select module type window here. Okay, I'm going to go to the hands-on portion of the project now. Okay, I'm online with the controller right now. And the first thing I'm going to do is come over here to the controller organizer and come all the way down to the I.O. configuration. And right click on the 1769 bus and that brings up this little window that has the discovery modules here. And I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, I have four modules that were loaded. And you can also see an additional information column here that the controller does not support adding I.O. online. So I will have to manually configure my configuration. But if it supported adding these I.O., you would have in the action section here, for each module you would have a create and you could select which modules you want to add to your I.O. configuration. And also down here on the bottom, you could click the create button that's right out here and add all the modules, or you could place a check mark here for close on create. So after the modules are created, it would automatically close. So that's the end of the video. So if you liked it and you learned something, let me know. Leave a comment. Otherwise, I'll see you next video.